Hey guys, I'm to mention jump and today we're doing my top five predictions for uh, for possible Zelda Direct. Now, within the last few months, we have had several Nintendo Directs. Uh, one of those being a general Direct, one of them being a Pokemon Direct, and another one being a Mario Direct. So the next possible one that we could have from Nintendo is a Zelda Direct. So I'm going to be going over some points that I would feel like might be brought up in. Um, the, the Zelda Direct. So for number 5, is a possible character from the Zelda series appearing as a DLC character in Super Smash Brothers. Now, we have had, um, uh, uh, we have had two new characters, well one new character, uh, appear in Smash Brothers. Um, that being Pyra and Mithra, they're kind of like two characters but in, but one is kind of like how Sheik and Zelda were in Smash Bros. Melee, where how you can change between them. And, I will, and if if there is a direct coming up in the next month or so, I would like to see a character from Zelda um, being brought into Smash Brothers as a DLC fighter, um, and it could possibly be like a character from an older game, like let's say Starvin from Spirit Tracks or Lionbeck from uh, Phantom Hourglass or whichever character that has appeared in an old Zelda game could be brought into Smash Brothers as a sort of like. Um, a representative of a representative of that particular game that people, you know, might have played, like older players might have heard of and played, but newer car but newer player people might have like um, not heard of, um, you know, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, and some of the characters from any of the older games could be brought in so that, like that people can newer play players can like just see like what the old games look like. And that'll be quite cool. I would, I would just like to see that in uh, the Zelda Direct. Uh, for number four, is old Zelda games being ported over to the Switch? Now we have had some Zelda games already done. They've been doing this, um, like with the uh, first three Zelda games: uh, Zelda One, Zelda Two, and Zelda Three. The uh, and also uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Uh, and they are like on those Nintendo Entertainment and Super Nintendo Entertainment System libraries, and it would be cool to see older games like Spirit Tracks, um, Minish Cap, uh, Phantom Hourglass, Wind Waker, being brought over into their own respective uh, gaming console libraries. Uh, so, like, let's say for Minish Cap, it could be brought over to like the Game Boy. Um, sort of collection uh, for F Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, it could be brought over for, into like a DS sort of library uh, and maybe also uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D um, could be brought over either as like as the original uh, Nintendo 64 versions or the 3DS versions, it could go either way uh, and I would like to see this um, being done because like if, if Nintendo are doing this with like the older games like with um, the libraries and also with what Skyward Sword is going through um, where there's a whole HD remastered game it would be nice to see uh, some like the games that's in between those other games that are, that, are, that are coming out or have been released to have like they have been shared, shared the spotlight as the other, other games for number three is new features within um, Skyward Sword HD now we have seen some features and um, being shown in Skyward Sword HD, for example, uh, the motion controls are, are, are adjusted to both the um, Joy Cons and also the analog stick. Uh, in terms of how you're playing Skyward Sword, because if you're using the Joy Cons, you can just swing them about like uh, how you could do that in on the Wii. And for the analog stick, you can just like um, move them in a certain direction. And then Link would do that, and I think it would be cool to see some like extra features uh, to be put into the game, um, kind of like how Twilight Princess HD uh, went through that. So with Twilight Princess HD, um, you could uh, go into hero mode, and the whole hero mode would be mirrored because with the original, with um, if you play through Twilight Princess HD normally, it will you will see the GameCube version, but if you went through it in the hero mode version it would be like in the Wii version now I would like to see that feature be brought over to Skyward Sword HD so once you've beaten Skyward Sword normally uh, the first time through you could go through on 
hero mode, but everything would be mirrored, and it would be cool to see like see how this would play out. Because then it'll it'll be like oh you have to do this, um, but mirrored, and it and you have to try and traverse your way through the whole of Skyloft, the surface, uh, and every single area in between. So like, but as mirrored, and it'll be cool to see something like that for for Skyward Swords HD, and also. It would be nice to see some stamps as well, maybe, possibly. Um, and you could, like, just uh, put them, like, a bit around, like, you know, the map. Or when you're, like, just even want to get a particular screenshot or something like that. That could possibly work. It could be a bit tedious because of, of it might be putting a bit too much stuff into Skyward Sword HD. But those would be some features that I might um, use if, like, if it's going to be, like, um, Twilight Princess HD. For number two is a trailer for the Age of Calamity DLC. Now we have had uh, some announcements for Age of Calamity uh, and a DLC that it's going to have. So for this trailer, I would hopefully like to see some um, trailers for like some of the new weapons that are going to be involved, uh, some new characters um, that are going to be involved, and it would be just, it would be cool to see how the weapons are going to be used uh, and how the and how the characters are going to. Um, you know, attack certain enemies and do like all the stuff that that's based on their character. So with Link, he's got his sword. He can basically just hit a bunch of enemies. He can shield surf. Um, with Zelda, she can either use the Sheikah Slate or use her sealing abilities. It'll be something along those lines, with, but it's based on a specific character that's introduced into Age of Calamity. And it'll be cool to see how they react with like all the other characters. And for number one, it's a new trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. Now, we've only had one trailer uh, for Breath of the Wild, and that was like over a year ago, or around two years ago or so. And it has been a while since we've had, like, you know, a proper trailer, and the only sort of um, news that we've had from it was in the recent uh, general Nintendo Direct, where AG Anuma said that. Um, there had to be some extra development for the game before any proper news uh, would be uh, announced. And I think that if there's going to be a Zelda Direct coming out in like a month or so, it would be good to see a new trailer for Breath of the Wild 2 coming, ar coming out around that time. And for this trailer, I hope I would like to see like um, Gandalf coming coming to power. He's sort of, it's like regenerating himself from his corpse form. And we get to see like you know bosses that were uh, brought in from like older games, and possibly like you know we could have like a combination of old bosses and new and uh, uh, from like new bosses from uh, Breath of the Wild with, with uh, the Henoxes, Stalnoxes, um, the Stone Taloses, the Moldugas, but we also get some old bosses like um, Moldorm, uh, uh, Dodongo, uh, the the Helmwalk King, those kinds of bosses we they can like like put into. That kind of like that kind of like fits the world of the of Breath of the World and see how uh, we can see uh, those bosses and how we can fight them and stuff that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's been my top five predictions for possible to, to, to sell the direct. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.